Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Have you seen it yet? If you haven't, be sure to pause the video and go check it out because today is a major spoiler alert. So after many, many months of being absent, I do apologize and I'll explain later at the end of the video, but after months of being absent, I did finally get to see Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So I'm going to be giving you my perspective on it, what I thought, and rating it overall. So let's go ahead and get into that. Now I do want to say that my theory on the Mosasaur was correct. I didn't get to post that video because I... I didn't make it. But I was correct, they did need the Indominus, like, rib. Um, they get a rib from the Indominus, that way they can make the Indoraptor, and then they can sell weaponized DNA. That's basically the whole plot of the entire movie. But, unfortunately, it goes south because they need Blue and Owen. Uh, that way they can, I almost said Chris Pratt. It's almost crazy how easily you can say Chris Pratt instead of Owen. Like, I just realized that. But they do need Blue and Owen. Apparently, they didn't, like, program in a trait that makes it, uh compassionate and understanding and loyal um, so the Indoraptor is just a killing machine it's about the size of an Allosaurus um, with the intelligence of a raptor that's the whole premise behind how scary the Indoraptor actually is but in the movie they use a laser on the end of a gun point it at a certain target and then play a frequency when that frequency is played the Indoraptor attacks that thing like a cat does uh, when you're using a laser at home on the wall. And that's the explanation that we basically get for how it would be used in the private market. So like if a billionaire wanted to buy the Indoraptor, then he could use it for his own use. Or she, we don't discriminate. So that's why the Indoraptor is so valuable. And in the movie it goes for like 20, 30 million, somewhere in there. It, it goes for a ton of money, and I mean, it's pretty obvious why. But in the midst of all the chaos, they also try to sell the other dinosaurs from the island that they save. Uh, I think there's like 12 different species that actually make it off the island. And it goes to... Yeah, imagine that. A Jurassic Park movie where the dinosaurs eat the characters. Wow, yeah. Ooh, you got us. You got us, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But anyway, they get out and they attack some of the auctioneers there. Uh, it goes crazy, and then they eventually get out of the entire facility. So they're just running around the world, and that's basically where we get the end of the movie where you see the Mosasaur scene where it's going under the wave and then you see the T-Rex uh, roaring at the lion. That's all at the end of the movie and it caught me so off guard. I thought that was going to be uh, the third act where they have to go after the dinosaurs that got out, recapture them. I thought that was going to be the whole third act, but no, that's going to be the whole third movie of the entire franchise. So, yeah, it's basically like going to be like San Diego all over again but for an, its entire own movie. Just imagine that. But this time it's not gonna be just a T-Rex, it's gonna be Pteranodon, it's gonna be all the herbivores, it's gonna be Mosasaurus. I'm honestly interested to see how they're gonna take that and make it seem original. I was scared that they were gonna make this like a copy paste of The Lost World, but no, it actually had some originality to it. And so let's go ahead and get around to the rating of this movie. Now if you look at some of the online critics, you'll see that Rotten Tomato gave it like a 50 to 60 percent. I'm not sure exactly what it's at, but you'll be seeing it on the screen right now. And then there were some other critics like IMBD who had it like a 6.7, somewhere in there. Of course it might have changed by the time I'm doing this commentary, but of course you'll see it on the screen right now. And personally, I think that was unfair. Um, I enjoyed the movie. Now, I'm a little bit biased. I do love the Jurassic World series. I love everything that Jurassic Park has done so far. You know, except for this. But let's be honest, everyone has their downfall. You know, it was... Yeah. <laughs> but because I saw these ratings, it made me skeptical when I went in. So I went in expecting it was going to be bad. Well, that was a mistake. Because honestly, I'm going to rate this movie an 8.5. And, and let me tell you why. I would have rated it higher, but there was one plot hole that got on my nerves the most throughout the movie, and it was the change of Claire's character. Now, when you hear the trailer or see the trailer, it says, Do you remember the first time you saw a dinosaur? again in the Gulf is a tragedy that should have never happened. First time you see them, all those affected, I want to say, miracle. Which makes you think the first time she had a dinosaur was magical, a magical experience, but honestly, the first dinosaur she has probably seen was Indominus Rex, and she didn't seem to have that much of a reaction. So, that's kind of a plot hole that I kind of saw through. I didn't exactly understand the character change. Like, I, it made sense for the story, but it didn't make sense in the long run. At least that's my opinion. You guys can tell me if you think differently. Now, to be fair to Claire, she did see a dinosaur for the first time up close and personal in the first Jurassic World when the Apatosaurus was dying after the Indominus Rex went on her killing spree. And yes, it was a very emotional scene, but what had it been emotional enough to Claire to change her character and make her even want to come back 
after everything that had happened and save the dinosaur. In fact, you would think Owen Grady would be more persistent and more willing to go and save Blue, but no, in fact, at the beginning of the movie, he doesn't even want anything to do with this island. In fact, he was willing to let Blue die. Of course, we all know that there's too much an emotional connection there for him to do that, so it kind of doesn't even make sense, and you see even further evidence of this in the movie itself. It shows how Owen first imprinted on Blue and how they built their relationship, how it's compassionate, how they can actually understand what each other needs. So that's the only reason I'm not rating this movie any higher. And eight and a half is still pretty high. Um, the lowest I would go is a seven. This movie, for the average viewer, is probably about a seven. But for a Jurassic Park fan, like some of you guys I'm sure are, uh, it's gonna be about an eight and a half. You're really gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be a great time. You're gonna love the action and at ILM, you know, of course did an amazing job. They have all these like one scene shots where they don't cut and it's just beautiful, be very beautifully done. And I really do respect the creators of this movie for doing it in that way. However, there was a critique of the last movie, The Last Jurassic World, and saying the raptors seemed too friendly, they weren't scary enough. Well, don't worry, because the Indoraptor and even Blue in this one is a lot more scary than in Jurassic World. I have to say that they did a great job of recapturing the fear from the first Jurassic Park. So that is why I'm giving Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom an eight and a half. And if you disagree and or agree, be sure to hit the like button below, comment, rate, subscribe, do what you guys do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So yeah, this is the end of video part where I apologize for not posting for two months. I was actually out of the country and I do apologize. I was in Italy and don't worry, you guys will be seeing a vlog of that. Um, I'm in fact making the music video of it right now, but I still haven't finished the music. So don't worry, you'll be seeing that of course. But I was out of the country and then when I came back from being out of the country, I was in the process of moving. So I was moving back into my parents' house. I know, I, how ambitious Logan. And then once I got done moving, I am a little bit sick. So. I am going to be telling you that um, I'm going to be posting Jurassic World Evolution starting on Monday and we won't stop. We will continue until we get to, I'm going to see 200? I want to see 200 episodes on the channel. That's a ton of videos. That's 200 uploads. And don't worry, I'll also be streaming every weekend that game. So, I just needed to figure out my setup and all that stuff. So, I apologize. We are deeply sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. But don't worry because I will be posting more videos here soon. And if you guys enjoy, be sure to subscribe. It really does help out. And I apologize, it will not happen again. We're sorry. I love you guys so much. We're almost at a thousand, baby. Almost at a thousand. And when we get there, I'll do a thousand subscribers special. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode.